Chapter 7 is concerned with purpose emerging from knowledge, technology and innovation. And it contrasts with Chapter 6, which were concerned with prescriptive purposes that had a defined beginning and an end. The danger with prescriptive purpose is that it may exclude purposes and strategies that may be more rewarding in the long term because they're experimental but are essentially unknown in terms of their outcome. In open-ended investigations, purpose might be allowed to be more experimental and develop from the process itself, effectively an emergent approach to purpose. The issue is how to set about this task. There are many routes, three of which are explored in Chapter 7. They are knowledge creation, technology development and innovation. Let's start with the first, knowledge. The knowledge of an organization is hard to define precisely. Essentially, it is a constantly changing mixture of experience, values, contextual information, and expert insight. It's not just numbers and data. There's an important distinction between explicit knowledge and tacit knowledge. Explicit knowledge is recorded and structured. Tacit knowledge is fuzzy and difficult to set out. Both types may contribute to sustainable competitive advantage in the organization, but tacit knowledge will be particularly important because it's less easy for competitors to comprehend and therefore copy. Knowledge creation then follows on from this. If there are three key elements, conversion and communication of existing knowledge, number one, knowledge creation and acquisition processes number two, and knowledge transfer processes number three. All three areas remain dis indistinct and uncertain, and are therefore more emergent than prescriptive in their approach. The second area in Chapter 7 is the use of technology to develop purpose and competitive advantage. Given the pace of change over the last 20 years, technology has come to play an important role in the development of sustainable competitive advantage, even in mature industries, not-for-profit organizations and small businesses. It is technology that has on occasions added the extra element to differentiate the organization. To explore technology, an internal and an external scan of technologies is vital for strategic management development. Technologies can be classified within the organization into base, core, and peripheral. Base areas are common to many companies. Peripheral areas are not mainstream to the organization. The core areas are the most likely ones to deliver competitive advantage, along with patenting and special skills. Core competencies, that is, corporate-wide technologies and production skills, can form the basis of new areas of technology innovation. Three new areas of technology may provide major opportunities for companies in innovation over the next 10 years. The first is biotechnology and healthcare improvements. The second is developments in microchip technology. And the third, improvements in information technology. The final area in Chapter 7 is innovation and purpose. We begin by defining innovation. Innovation is the generation and exploitation of new ideas. It's not just the generation of the ideas. There are two main approaches, customer needs analysis and technology development analysis, commonly called the first market pull and the second technology push. The real issue for many organizations is how to generate more innovation, the ideas process, and there are no simple answers. There are, however, some seven guidelines. Number one, question the, the present business strategies and market definitions. Two, consider carefully the purpose of the organization. Three, explore external timing and market opportunities. Four, seek out competitor weaknesses. Five, deliver new and better value for money within existing products. Number six, search wide and far, perhaps other countries, perhaps other product areas. And number seven, seek to challenge conventional wisdom. Why do we do such a thing in such a way? 
ultimately all three areas, knowledge, technology, and the innovation processes will have an influence on the emerging purpose of the organization. <laughs>